Hello guys, today I show you my recent plugin, the Shirt Maker or Clothing Creator. This plugin will help you to design and make clothes by your own scripts in Roblox Studio. How it works, how to access it, visit the forum site and search for Clothing Plugin Apafay, that is my name, and you will get to this post and from here with one click you can get to the installation page with some additional reading and from here you can install the plugin okay we open it with roblox <coughs> okay we can open a new base plate go to the plugins um, menu and look for short maker and click on it as you see this is a quite big window because we need a one-to-one -one sized <coughs> uh, image of the Roblox shirt template. This is placed in the window and beside it we have some checkboxes like show labels. This will hide the labels, the show splitters and in this way you see only the active frames of the template and we can hide everything in this way we just see the original template of the Roblox uh, shirt now we turn everything on and if we click on one frame it will be selected highlighted its name will be written here and its size will be uh, written beside the name it can be important if we uh, start scripting what we can do with this active shirt template we can select any of the frame and then we can click on run button and of course first of all we need to enable uh, a script injection uh, in the manage plugins so come here and no okay sorry not the details because that's uh, the website but the script injection denied label and please allow it okay that's all and now if we click I, I clean it up okay so if we click on run we got a message that the short maker torso front script outside of the plugin is running it has been copied to replicated storage we can modify it if we want and it's ready and as you can see the selected frame changed because I inserted a sample module script that does exactly this so if I select another one and I click on run it, select, it will uh, change the layout of the frame uh, in the same way and I can do it in every frame where is the script and how can we change it go to the replicated storage here you will find the shirt maker module script ok I try to ok it's ok in this way 
this is the script the shirt maker sample script you can use it the starting point to create your own scripts you need always uh, modify the module dot create function it receives three parameters the frame this will be the selected frame and optionally you can get a pixel this is also a frame but it's a special one it is sized one dot uh, multiplied by one dot so it's only one pixel and its transparency is zero and the z index is one everything is set properly so you need only to clone this pixel and then set the size the position the background color of the clone and then just uh, parent it to the frame so you it's just a help you don't need to use this pixel uh, but I think it's a bit easier to use uh, in this way and there is the selection 3d as a table it means that if you select one or more object in the workspace you will get these object the selected objects in a table and you can access their Ob uh, objects and every property every property here in the script so this is just the de demonstration here that if we select uh, an, an object we will list it uh, the name and this is my sample uh, script that places uh, 8 by 8 uh, sized boxes in the frame so it's a very simple one and if we run this script runs how can we prove it if we change the script for example I remove the color uh, line and I rerun the script it will be the default color here okay and if we want to add some other object uh, to the frame we can do it it's so for example to add the new label just type this one line set its uh, size and position like okay position doesn't matter what is important to set the z index to something between one and nine uh, for the pixel it's uh, set to one as i remember but uh, if you want something above the pixel then use uh, z index at least five and leave little dot uh, parent will be the frame and here we go we added a label to the uh, frame we can uh, reset the selected and we can rerun or we can uh, create a condition for example that if frame name is uh, something like uh, torso back then do this and if it's uh, torso L then do this and etc etc and uh, one trick that you can oversize the frame so you don't need to keep it in that small one 
so for example as you can see normally it is uh, uh, changed between the original frame size because uh, this is the loop here but if we change the frame size uh, how can we calculate it um, let me think uh, so we know that one standard frame is 64 pixel uh, width so we need that width uh, at least one two three four five six times and we have some gaps that are two pixels width so we need one two three gap and in this way uh, ah I'm sorry I need to set the height uh, that is so in this way with one frame we can cover more uh, area of the template and uh, as you can see the right the front the left and the back can be one single uh, frame so if we insert for example one big picture here then our clothes will uh, be covered by one uh, big image for example okay and if you want to export the result what can we do uh, it's important to remember that there is no way to save a picture as a screenshot uh, from Roblox Studio so we need to do it manually I try to help it as much as I can so with the screenshot Windows 10 screenshot function the Windows shift and S combination we can draw a box around this template okay and now we need <coughs> we need the official template of Roblox this is available uh, from their website I already downloaded it uh, so I will access it from my desktop and I suggest to use uh, paint.net software to open this PNG file this is a standard size uh, picture so we can paste as a new layer or uh, picture so you can see the original one and the current one make sure to see the red lines uh, in the corners and that's all and now we can save as my template and it has to be a png file sorry this is a my okay and uh, go back to studio we can close our work and we will need the clothing tester I prefer this uh, tool <coughs> and here we can select our shirt from the desktop and we can use our own 
avatar. And here we are. This is my new shirt. You can see that it's quite easy uh, to create uh, one. So if you are happy with the result, then upload it uh, and use it uh, as you wish. So this is what Shirt Maker can do for you. This is the interface. You can reset all with one single click and start a new job. And uh, remember that the script are in the replicated storage and a very simple one. Uh, you can develop anything what you wish. Uh, it's up to you how uh, complex system you want to uh, create. If you just want to insert an image uh, to each uh, site, then it will be very simple. If you want to create a, uh, optical illusion or something uh, other programmed uh, script, then it can be a, a more detailed one. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you like this plugin. Please try it. Soon it will be available in the Roblox Studio toolbox. Uh, it will take some days because I uploaded an other um, plugin this week. So we need to wait some days to find it in the toolbox. But until then, you can find it from the Dev Forum site as a direct link. May you have any question, please write a comment here or in the video, uh, in the YouTube. And have a nice day. That's all for today. And bye.